What's up guys, welcome back. So, versus today, One Piece, Luffy, Gear 5 versus Luchi. So this is this has happened in the manga, if you don't read the manga. Don't worry, I won't give anything away, but just the fight. So, um, I'm in a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. We'll start with Luffy over this side. I'm going to start with his nose, because he's in profile. So, we'll just go curve line, out. All right, and then it goes back in underneath. So you've got this like letter L or upside down seven. And then the brow goes up this way. And then you kind of curve around the back here. Right, and then his nostril, kind of just like a dot for the nostrils just there. Okay, so that's like his forehead. And then this seven for the nose. So you know where his brow is, his eyebrow is right beside it. And then we got this cloud-like eyebrow. Just goes back into there. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then his eye. So just this round sort of eye coming out this side. And then his iris there, his pupil in the middle, sort of looking up to the left. And then we can probably see some bottom eyelid just coming out here as well. <clears throat> and then the scar underneath like that. Right, so then we'll go across and do his mouth, so his top lip kind of sticks out here. And goes back in. And then it's a crazy big smile, right, so it goes. Like that, and then we open up the mouth, bring it down here. And it goes all the way around to there. And you can see teeth at the bottom. Teeth at the top. <clears throat> we can see a little bit of gum up here. Gum, gum, and oh! <laughs> I thought that, that was funny. I thought that was very funny. Gum, gum, and oh. It's his gums, and he's the fruit. Yeah, okay. Um, so out of his mouth, then comes down here. And then his tongue, like that. So then bottom lip sticks out here, and then chin becomes jaw. Deep like that. And then this goes around, like so. And then we start meeting like these sort of curvy spiral hair pieces, sort of things like this. <clears throat> and then his ears here, so sideburn and ear, kind of like the one thing. Ears quite low down in his head. You can add some ear lines inside. And then the hair that comes off the top of his head so it just goes like this way. And then it spirals around with all these wispy cloud like sort of And you'll have some spirals coming off them every now and then, like so like here. Mm -hmm. And it goes in behind his neck, there. That's some more texture to it, like so. All right, so in front of his neck, just here. You have 
like a neck muscle there and then the center line for his chest is here and so the top of the chest goes that way on that side and the top will go that way on that side bottom of his chest here bottom of the chest on this side will go this way yeah okay so then so like coming out from just behind his shoulder we have like his waistcoat kind of thing just comes all the way down that way and this will have some like bumps and sort of phone lines and stuff just coming down here and he has this cloud that comes all around his body right so it comes out from behind here it's kind of like this bumpy sort of stuff here right the side of his body will go this way then it's kind of clothing kind of kicks out here and this has like buttons all here Okay, and the cloud on this side comes out from underneath his arm. So say, there's the waistcoat. So we'll put the cloud here, right? So we'll just go underneath his arm this way, right? A bit of a spiral. We'll just go off there. And then this comes back around his shoulder, right? So. Around his hair, sort of that way. So it kind of goes around his head, sort of there. Okay, so then his rest of his body is in here, and then we have his arm going that way, shoulder sort of line going that way, <clears throat> and the rest of his clothing goes there some fold lines and stuff like so right so then he's got abs and then his sort of right so ab lines one two three four of them we just have the tops of them then And then his scar. Just a big X marks the spot scar. And then some texture on it just to show that it's kind of scarred skin and then we got like his oblique muscles just here as well so that's like his cloak oh yeah so the side of his body so we'll just bring the side of his body this way okay so then his arm is coming out and making a fist and he's kind of bashing arms with Lucci. So let's go out this way. So we go down and he's got this frilly uh, end to his shirt, real classic pirate sort of thing. Like that. And then it comes around. Oops, around sort of that way you can put some more sort of fold lines and stuff if you wanted like so right and his arm so the arm kind of comes out see forearm comes out here and 
the elbow comes out here. And then we can meet the bottom of his fist here. And you do this kind of W shape at first, and then the wrist bones, right, like that. So the back of the hand will come up, and then we have knuckles. So we go one, two, three, four. And then the index finger comes down to there and then goes behind the thumb, which is just like this kind of sausage sort of shape or like a, a bean. And then we have the thumbnail. And you just do each finger coming down from the knuckle. So you go down, change direction for your knuckle there. And you do the same thing down, change direction for your knuckle, down, change direction for your knuckle. Right, and then you do the bottoms of the fingers, one, two, and then this one kind of curves around because it's the little finger, so you can see the side of it. So you can see some skin and stuff, and then just add some knuckle lines. Like so. Right, so that is Luffy, pretty much. Right, so Luchi is clashing right with luffy's arm so we're gonna we're gonna connect their arms right and then luchi's head is kind of just above his fist so you want to put it sort of behind luffy's knuckles right so luchi's arm is all in here right and you can see the elbow sort of going that way and you have the forearm muscle here I mean, there's like, there's lots of like circles and dots and all that kind of stuff, but I will let you add them to like there's leopard print all over, right? And instead of drawing them all, I'll just do it when I'm coloring because it's much quicker. So here, I'm going to add a little bit of color anyway. So this is his wrist. So this goes underneath. down to there okay so then knuckles and hand just here right so this comes out once down twice down so these are knuckles like that and then the index comes out to the front change direction to there and like so next one knuckle next one knuckle and then this comes around <clears throat> so we can see the back of his little finger here then goes up like so right and then you see his little finger in there this comes around up this way and then here and maybe a knuckle on top right and then you can see his thumb knuckle down here right and he has like these sharp big nails Like so, right? And then you can add some knuckle lines. And there is all leopard print on this, but again, I'll, I'll do that when I'm coloring because I can do it real quick all at once. The video would be way too long if I tried to color all that in. Right, and then we can just see a line like that, right? So small arm clashing with big arm, okay? Now, so what we gotta do is sort of put the face, so we're gonna put Lucci's face here and his shoulder kind of joins here right so where to begin with his face i think i'll start with his nose as well so we've got this sort of tiger like bumpy nose flat that goes this way and then into there and then we go around like so and then a line sort of up the middle and then we go line there 
He was like, he's growling. So it was like these wrinkle lines, okay? Right, so then he's kind of, so we've got like two frown sort of areas, right? So at the top of the nose, we've got one that goes go this way. Now, Lucci's kind of tricky to draw, so take your time, right? So this is like a frown, and he's got all these patterns, right, that go up his head. This is like his brow. It comes out to a point, and then goes that way. And you can just see, like, his cheek sort of here, and maybe, like, some of his eye or something in there. So the other frown area... Here, just beside this one, right? So we go there, and then up like so. And this becomes like his eyebrow here. And so that's colored black inside. I might, I will, I'll color this black. Right? Right. Right. So then, his eye. So we go this way for top eye, Liz, and then it comes down around, kind of slender. And he's kind of looking this way. So we'll just add his iris there, and then we go top eyelid line, and then a bottom sort of eyelid line there, and then wrinkles like that. Okay, so then his mouth comes down this way. I mean, you've got like his bottom lip coming across here. And then this comes across. There. Up around for his jaw. And this comes up this way. And then we go down into there so it looks like his mouth is closed now but we're just going to open it up right so we're going to add sort of teeth so we got like a line that goes across down then around to there and then some snarling sort of zigzag kind of teeth inside here and then we can see just his top lip coming out from his nose here into there okay so that's kind of tricky to draw now must I must say not easy so all right and then we can see these spirals coming around his chin like so okay and then we've got like some neck muscle lines going this way and like some sort of what looks like fur lines just going that way. And it's like his, it's say his collarbones kind of thing, joining his big neck that goes that way. But we get his head in. So we go up and around here. And then on this side, we got like an ear that sticks off here. And then we have a big sort of cloudy kind of bumpy kind of hair spike area right so it like just goes all around like that right and then comes down in the middle and it goes behind his other ear here So, okay, and then the rest of that hair sort of just bumpy, simple enough going that way. 
and then his shoulder as I said comes out and joins the arm here on this side and then you can see like the inside of his chest kind of here and then a bicep so a line or something top of his shoulder there so as well there is more patterns on his head so I'll draw those so we'll go down like so right Right, like so and then there's another one comes down to like his frown there another one comes up from here and then another sort of spiking one starting here this goes like in up there and around like the back of his head just like he comes in again and goes off again and there's like a spike here goes down that way <clears throat> maybe this is a bit thicker going that way then and they're black all black inside right so it's got another thing here so I'll just I will color these black Right, so then we move across and start adding the rest of the stuff down here. Okay, so like some more sort of hairlines just there. And then his chest kind of comes out from his thumb, looks like, it just goes down here. And you can see like a nipple here. And then he's got like these sort of hair spikes just coming across because he's all furry on top and then the other side of his chest sort of goes here like that the side of his body here and then he has like an other fist down here so <clears throat> we'll draw that in so say it's so underneath the nipple so we got like his forearm and thumbs. We'll do the thumbs. We'll go thumb across here, right? And then big spiking thumb here. This comes down like so. And then we've like knuckles that come out this way. One, two, three, and the fourth one is just underneath here. And it's just skin lines on the side. This comes down like this. And each of these is a finger. They'll just go down off my page. If you have more room, of course, you can fit the rest of the hand in. It's a pretty easy image to find this of Luchi and uh, Luffy fighting. So then the thumb goes down to about there. And then his like, wrist goes off that way. And then you'll have kind of some ab muscles There's some ab muscles going that way there there All right So that's Lucci, apart from his leopard spots, which I will do when I'm coloring, because I can do it all really quick. Um, but then if you want, right, an extra sort of added bonus with this, you can do sort of hacky, sort of lightning, sort of style. So you can do this any way you want, right? Just the black sort of lightning coming out from them. You can cover whatever you want, you know. You can choose sort of where you want it to go. Do do do. Like 
like so. Okay, and so in there it'll be all black, you can like erase whatever you want, or you could just do it in standard fight pose, you don't have to add the hacky stuff at all. But that's it, pretty complicated. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.